Her father passed away at 51 due to a heart attack from overworking himself, so she's made it her life's mission to help real estate agents build wildly successful top producing businesses while working less through streamlined systems and processes and automations. Today I'm bringing on a very special guest, Alexa Rosario, who's now not only a top producer herself, but has helped thousands of agents streamline their business using creative funnels and strategic websites that are very easy to create that can convert clients at scale and alleviate yourself from the majority of the time sucking effort it takes to work with buyers and sellers. So today, Alexa is going to be breaking down all of her funnels and her systems and processes that you can replicate for your business. And the craziest thing is, is at the end of this video, she actually shares with you how you can get all of her funnels and systems and processes for free. I'm also going to be linking all of Alexa's accounts below in terms of her Instagram and her YouTube, because she's got a wealth of incredible content on there and you definitely want to be checking it out. So without further ado, let's show you how to streamline your business to become a wildly successful agent without burning the candle at both ends. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we've got on a very special guest to talk about something that I'm very passionate about. And I know many of you are going to be mind blown when we dive into it. So we're bringing on Alexa Brosario today to talk about funnels. This is something that seems very mysterious to a lot of agents, but a lot of people get excited about the idea of it and don't quite I know how to properly apply it to their business. So we're going to be talking about how you can leverage funnels in order to increase the power of your relationship marketing as well as referrals and start diving into how you could streamline your business. So what's going on, Alexa? Hi, I'm super excited to be here and thank you so much for having me. So um, this is something that like you, I'm super passionate about. And I mean, I think I can, we can just kind of dive right in. Um, so the way that this all started uh, was kind of a, a very happenstance sort of co collective of events that that brought me to the conclusion that client funnels was the only way to really take my business forward. So um, it's inside of my business, what I was finding was during the pandemic, specifically on the buyer side, there was we were going through the process of having to write like seven, eight, ten offers for every single buyer. And so that became so exhausting to the point where I was like, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. And I decided that it wasn't a matter of whether or not I wanted to do it. It was I didn't want to do it the way that we were currently doing it. And so I kind of sat down and I was like, what would this experience look like if we were to streamline this without sacrificing that personal touch? And that's really where client funnels came from. And um, so, you know, we started doing that in our business. And then over time, um, we started to notice that other agents were like, how are you doing this? Like, what is this? And that's how we started sharing it. And um, it's been it's been a really fun journey to be able to do that. Yeah, I think that's awesome. We'll start diving into some of the tactical aspects of it. But, you know, just to kind of frame the overall conversation, do you want to just give people a, a brief introduction as to, you know, who you are and, and which market you're in? And then we'll start diving straight in. Yeah, definitely. So I'm here in South Florida. So we actually, you know, normally I'm like, oh, it's like 80 degrees outside where we happen to be in a cold front right now. So here in Fort Lauderdale, we're just north of Miami, just south of Palm Beach. So we kind of sandwiched in between those two. And um, so this year I'll close around 10 million in volume um, because I spent so much of my time and uh, focused on the agent services side. It's been really cool to see how the client funnels that we're talking about today gave me the ability to really only show, I think, seven properties this year and uh, and to also get those five-star reviews. And my clients have been super happy simply because of the way that we onboard our clients. And it's not just a, let's hop in the car and start driving around and hopefully find you something. And you may or may not buy a house with me or one of the other 80,000 agents in our market. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think it's it's really powerful because a lot of agents struggle to scale their business because they don't create leverage and they're always doing a one-to-one -one scale. They have no efficiencies. They don't do things that are able to be duplicatable and create that leverage of their time, which is why they're always having to invest more time to scale. So I'm really excited about this. So why don't we just dive in and, and you can maybe talk about the application of these funnels and, and how they actually work. And then maybe you could share your screen and, and give a, a little glimpse as to what they actually look like to give some uh, kind of visual context to it. 
Yeah, totally. So at a really high level, they look like just a website, right? Like that's, I think the, the hardest thing for people to understand is a funnel is a website, but it's not a website in the sense that you're used to. So if you think about in the real estate website space right now, there is ultimately two types of websites that most agents will fall into. The first is the IDX site. And the challenge that you're going to find with IDX sites is uh, you have to drive a lot of traffic to them, which means that it, there's already a built-in cost there. And second is the fact that on average, IDX leads take about 12 to 24 months to actually convert into a client. And so, and that's at, at like a 2% conversion rate. And if you're lucky, if you're really, 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 really good, you might get around three to 5%, but still there's a lot that has to be built into your business in order to make IDX sites profitable. And so you see these mega, mega agents who have ISA teams and, you know, dozens of agents servicing those, I, those IDX leads. And I find that that's not the reality for most agents, right? Like there, there's the agents who are mega agents, agents on teams. And then there's everybody else who's kind of the, that solo agent who wants to build a really great business, but doesn't necessarily want to go that sort of IDX route. The second type of, of website is your, what I call digital billboard. And they're your super sexy, super gorgeous websites that agents spend like anywhere between five and $15,000 on. And they're gorgeous, like beautiful graphics and everything. The challenge with those is that there's generally only one call to action on them. And it's like a contact me button and that's it. And so when you look at website traffic in general, you're now talking about maybe one to 2% of them might possibly, if they're in the, in a good mood, they have the time and all the stars happen to align, they may possibly put their contact information in. And so, but the chances of that happening is, is not all that substantial. That's kind of where client funnels come in. And so going back to the example of using the, you know, the IDX agent versus the digital billboard, which is your, you know, I've been in the business for a million years and I just need somewhere for people to go when they look me up. I find that there's, there's the, the modern agent, right? Like that's, that's us. That's the agents who are, we're, we're social savvy. We kind of lean into the, the modern way of marketing and yet our websites haven't come with us. So client funnels really focuses on the onboarding process of your clients. So taking them from number one, like building the trust. So, cause I, I truly believe that there's three questions that a client has to answer before they can hire you as their agent. And I'm in, I'm in South Florida, which is the number one, uh, largest real estate association in the country. So by and far, like, and then we have the number three, which is Fort Lauderdale and Miami. So we are literally the most competitive real estate market in the U S. So, um, in, in going through this kind of how do I choose my agent is number one is, can I trust you? Number two is, do you care about me? And number three is, can you help me? Right? Like if, if you can answer those three questions and at, with absolute certainty, that client is yours. Now the, the, the client funnels piece of it is how do I answer those questions without having to have 8 million conversations with them before I even get to the table with them so that I'm the only one that gets to the table with them. Um, so, and uh, again, going into the actual like execution of it, a funnel as a website where there's a flow that happens on the back end after somebody does an action. So a typical sales funnel for those of you watching who are familiar with sales funnels, you buy something, then there's an upsell and then maybe another upsell. And then there's the thank you page. In our client funnels, it's focused on the first action is getting them to book a call or book a consultation on your calendar. The second they hit that submit button, the next page it takes them to is their intake form. And so that answers the question of, do you care about me? Now I can promise you beyond a shadow of a doubt that the, the questions that we're asking on that intake form, the amount of questions that we're asking is going to make them realize how much we care about the details for them. Now that has a dual purpose, which we'll get to in a second, but ultimately is getting every single thing that's important to them. So, and they're telling you exactly how to sell them. So then as soon as they hit submit on the intake form, it then takes them directly to on the buyer side, our buyer negotiation workshop, which takes them through the entire process. Now I started doing this because I was finding that 
on the days that I was doing two or three buyer consultations and explaining the process three times over, I literally wanted to like just quit real estate because it was so much time of having an hour and a half consultation three times and saying the same things over and over again. So the 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 workshop walks them through everything they need to know about the navigating the transaction. And so some of you are probably thinking like, well, what about the clients who've already bought property before? What about my luxury clients? I'm here to tell you that it's all about how you present it. And every single person that goes through it finds value in it. Um, and a large part of that is due to the fact that we call it the buyer negotiation workshop. And so we always tell people, if you haven't bought a property in this market, you haven't bought property before. And so they go through, they watch it all. Then they've done all of this by the time we sit down with them. And so when we sit down with them, the consultation is like 15 minutes and it's really just questions that are specific to them and figuring out their time frame. On the seller side, once they submit their intake form, it takes them to our digital listing presentation. So now the question of like, what are you going to do to sell my house is no longer even a conversation. And so your listing presentations are able to be shortened. So with that said, I know that was a lot. So before we get into the screen sharing, like not trying to, you know, explode everybody's brains. Um, did you have any other questions or a clarification that you wanted me to get into? No, I think it's awesome. And I think you you clearly explained it because again, a lot of people are very familiar whether they know it or not with the typical funnel se sequence. If you've ever bought an online program or coaching or mentorship or you know any sort of product, then that's what you go through. And you will know how streamlined it is when you go to buy something online. You don't have to have a call, multiple calls to buy the product. It's just a yeah. seamless transition. And as you alluded to, agents haven't yet found a way to take that into their own real estate business and until now. So um, I'm excited. I think you should just share your screen. We could dive right in. And, uh, you know, I've seen this before, and I think people are going to be blown away at, you know, how simplistic it is, but also how powerful it is when you start looking at the application of it to your business. Right. And I think that's, that's the coolest thing about it is when we talk about technology, everyone thinks everything is supposed to be super fancy and super advanced and all this extra stuff. And in reality, it's it truly is the art of simplicity that makes it so powerful. So this is the seller page. There's nothing special about this page at all, except for the fact that, again, it answers the question of, can I trust you? So there is you have your social proof section here. You have your bio. You have your any kind of awards, accolades, press features, all that kind of stuff. There's a whole bunch of close sign pictures here with all of my clients. And so there's like, there's information here about the different, um, you know, scenarios for each of those clients. We have our Google um, and Facebook reviews here. And so they're now like, they're not like, you'll never hear the question after you start using this, how long have you been yeah. selling real estate? Or do you like, do you sell a lot of houses? Cause they see already, like they see that your clients are happy. They see that you get results. And so it's like, okay, well, now that I'm comfortable with this, let me go ahead and book my consultation. So we, let's say we go through and book this and it, there's nothing fancy here. This is done through Calendly. Um, and so they can, you know, enter their address if they decide to, or we do it on zoom, they submit this, which then takes them to the seller intake form. And as you're going to do that, I just wanted to, to kind of piggyback off the fact that it's so nice when you've got a page like this where you no longer have to talk about yourself because I think that's where a lot of, um, you know, disconnect comes from, you know, the general public and the perception of realtors is most agents are always talking about themselves and edifying themselves where it seems yes. like you're boasting or gloating. Whereas if it's just, hey, here's a page, it's all there. You're checking it out on your own time. You get the same point, but you yes. feel completely different about it. Oh, definitely. And I think you do a great job of this as well. So, I mean, I've seen a lot of your different, the front ends of your funnels and you do a great job of there's, there's a lot of value there and you offer the social proof. So by the time somebody talks to you, I would imagine that there, it's not like you're not having to sell them. You're not having to convince them to talk to you. They've already agreed to talk to you. They already yeah. know who you are and what you're about. Now it's just, Hey, I have these particular questions. Like, can you help me answer these? And then they can make a great decision. So, you know, um, this is your intake form. So again, it collects all of the information that you could ever possibly want to know. And I specifically show the seller version, because if we go into the, um, the property detail section, there's literally everything here that you need to know about uploading the listing to the MLS. Now here's where the magic of this comes in. 
because they've already given you all this information, they don't want to have to go and do this for another agent again. And so they know that you've already collected everything and they know that you covered all your bases. And so now you, it's yours. The second thing is when this form comes in, you can now hand it off to a VA or to an admin and they can take care of the back end logistics for you. You're not having to sit there with your client and text back and forth like, hey, did you, I forgot what you said. How old is the roof again? Or, you know, it just removes like a lot of that back and forth. When somebody asks you about a, about a property and you're like, it's been three months since I asked my client if they pulled permits on the whatever it is, you don't have to be like, um, I forgot what you said. Can you remind me again? You just go back to their intake form and it's all here, including the conversation or the, the details about like the, the mailbox key and the community amenities and literally everything that you need to know to, to deliver an extraordinary listing experience is all here. And surprisingly, sellers don't complain about filling this out because it's all about them. And so the conversation I have going into on the buyer and seller side is this is kind of like when you go to the doctor's office and they ask you to fill out a medical history form, except this is way more fun because it's about your house. And so they usually chuckle and they're like, okay, no problem. So we get this completed. So they get to the end, they hit submit. And then the next thing, and I'll show you this, the seller version first, and then I'll show you the buyer version right after. So as I mentioned, we do on the seller side, we have the um, the listing presentation. On the buyer side, we have a workshop. So this is tested. This wasn't just like a random, hey, let's just do them completely differently. Um, we tried to do the workshop for sellers and found that they were not as excited as the buyers about going in watching an hour long workshop. The difference is that the seller already knows everything they need to know about their property. So now all they care about is the price rather than and how you're going to sell the property. On the buyer side, there's a lot of anxiety about making the wrong decision. And so they need a lot more coaxing to get them across that finish line. So this is the seller intake for, I'm, I'm sorry, seller listing presentation. And so it covers pretty much everything that you need to know about that sort of like, how, am I, how, how are you as my agent going to sell my property? So we get into all the details about the digital marketing and the in-person marketing and the way we use networking to take advantage of the actual, like giving them a great experience, getting them the most traffic, the most exposure, and making sure that they have a great result. So you can include your commission structure or not up to you. This walks them through at a very high level. Hey, here's all the different steps that happen in the transaction. Here's a little bit more about me. Here's all the testimonials, frequently asked questions, and then let's do this. So now, and also by the way, um, I used to do this as a PDF. And what I found was they were not as excited to look at the PDF as they are to go through this funnel. And it's, it's just so easy for them to not have to sit there and be like, okay, let me sit down and look at a 30 page PDF document that you emailed to me. It's just a better experience for them. So on the buyer side, you're going to see this is our buyer negotiation workshop. And so the page looks almost identical from, from here down of the pages that you saw previously. The only difference is this section right here, which covers the actual workshop. So you'll see it's an hour long. And what I love about this is they can go watch it at any time. They can go back to it as many times as they want to. And there's never a question of like, hey, like, I think I want to offer a thousand dollars less than you're advising because they understand how the negotiations work. They understand that the little things that they're worried about don't necessarily need to be worries. And here's the things that you actually need to focus on. And when you can kind of point their attention like a laser, all, all of a sudden this clarity sort of, or this fog kind of lifts for them. And they're like, oh, okay, this is going to be easier than I thought it was. And so just the onboarding experience here gives them an entirely different experience up front. So now when, when they hire you as their agent, your job is so much easier because you're not having to prove yourself every second of every single day to this client. So that's really what, what the client funnels kind of comp prize up. And so, um, you know, I'll kind of bounce it back to you if you have any questions. 
Yeah, no, I think I think it's incredible. And, you know, I do have a couple of things that we'll, we'll dive into quickly here. But, you know, you said a, a really important word that I bring up on a lot of my content, which is the word experience. And I think that word has shifted over the last number of years with this new era of agents, where in the past, people were looking for experience by definition of years in the industry. But now that Agents are no longer the gatekeepers of information because of what we have online. They're looking for the experience of the process. And that's really cool because when you bring an experience like this, you can alleviate yourself from the new agent objections, the young agent objections. How many deals have you done? Because when you have a process like that, the experience is so seamless and so dialed in. Um, and I think this is going to be even more important heading into the shifting market because when I got started, when the market was terrible, you know, the number one thing people said when they worked with an agent and it didn't go well was communication. And that's not just two-way communication, but also in the way that you just did it, one-way communication and how that experience, you know, transcends into the process. So I absolutely love it. I think a couple of little brief things is, uh, um, you know, I know people are going to be wondering what is this actually built out on? Is it ClickFunnels? Is it WordPress? Like, what are you building these pages on? Yeah, so it's done on WordPress. Um, so my front end is WordPress. My back end, my CRM is um, Follow-Up Boss. So what's interesting is just recently, I had someone go and build me an integration between WordPress and Follow-Up Boss. So now whenever someone views a specific page, like let's say, for example, the buyer negotiation workshop, I can add a tag to them and trigger automations if they've watched it or haven't watched it. And so we've been able to do things like the consultation is tomorrow and they haven't watched the the buyer negotiation workshop. So automatically send an email that says, hey, just you know, wanted to remind you, make sure you watch this before our consultation. And then going into the negotiations, we update, we move their stage in follow-up boss to negotiations. And then if they don't have the tag buyer negotiation workshop, it says, hey, by the way, like in case you really want to cover kind of all your bases, this workshop walks you through everything. I strongly recommend that you watch it before we go through this process so you know exactly what you're getting into. And so it's a, it's, there's a lot of automation that can be built between like a WordPress and a super powerful CRM like Follow-Up Boss. And I know there's a couple of others that have really high level automations as well. So. Yeah, that's so cool. And I think that's a really important talking point. We could do that on a whole separate conversation about oh, the fact that, you know, you're a beast with your CRM. And, and that's one component that a lot of people are going to see that this is really cool. And they get attracted by, you know, the beautiful aspect of introducing to this business. But you still have to build the foundation in order to okay. operate it properly. And a lot of agents go for the shiny penny, but not the foundational, you know, um, concrete aspect of building up their CRM to kind of align with these initiatives. So I think it's incredible. And, and I love what you've been able to do to systemize it and, you know, create these streamlined processes. So um, the last two things is there's going to be people that are wondering, how the heck can I actually get this? So what does that look like? How do people get access to something as incredible as this? Yeah, definitely. So um, two ways. So the first one is you can go to alexarosario.com slash systems one, and you'll see everything that we just walked you through. It includes the template, it includes the course, the scripts, um, and then also like the actual slides for your workshop. So you do have to record your own workshop. So I know that I know that a lot of the people who are watching this are watching it because they prefer video. So I don't think that'll be too much of an issue here. But um, some people have asked me like, can you just like send me the recorded workshop? I'm like, no, it's your funnel. Like they need to hear your voice. That's how they get to know you. Um, so it includes pretty much everything that you need and we're consistently updating it based off of, you know, the feedback and the questions and the really cool ideas that agents come up with. And so we're constantly building on that. Um, and then the second way is actually, um, in a couple of days, I'm officially joining you. Um, at, over at EXP. And so the agents that decide to join us, um, both Mike and I at EXP will get all of my programs for free as part of kind of the, the offer to really add value when you join us over there. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, uh, this is one of the partnerships that I've been most excited for for a long time, because now you have, you've got me on the marketing, branding, lead gen video side. You've got Louie with, you know, his time management and you with the systems and processes and yes. that kind of trio of support is going to really help agents thrive during these times of uncertainty. So let's wrap it up with that is, you know, you were, you're crushing it in real estate. You've got a mega system built out with a huge ecosystem of agents that love what you're doing. Um, and your previous 
previously at KW and, and, you know, decided to make a transition over here. So what was in that kind of decision-making process in order to, you know, align with, with us, me and Louie? Oh man. So a lot. Um, that was not a decision that was just like, Oh, this is what everyone's doing. Like, let me just jump on the bandwagon. Um, I've been, I've been in real estate for, for April will actually be 10 years. So we're like four months shy of 10 years in the business. Nine of those years have been at KW and I wasn't really looking for a new opportunity. Um, and I just found that, um, so I have to tell kind of a funny story about how I joined KW to answer your question about how I decided to make the switch. So at my, when I was um, at my previous company, I was there for a couple of months and um, I, again, wasn't really looking for a different company. And I went to sleep one night and had a dream. I literally had a dream about KW. It was the weirdest thing. And it was like, I was on a bike, which I don't even own a bike, but I was on a bike driving down like this main road and every single sign, the the store signs, the billboards, everything was KW. So I called my mom and I was like, um, so I just had the weirdest dream ever. And so my mom told me to follow my dreams. And so I did spent nine awesome years at KW. And then, um, I was scrolling through social media one day and came across some of your content. And I remember, I don't know if it was you or somebody else said, like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And so that is like, I've realized like, because I study marketing so much, I'm a very hard person to market to. Cause I analyze like, is, would that hook work? That specific phrasing. I was like, oh man, now I have to go figure out what this is. Like, what is it that I can't unsee? And so it, it's almost like the horror movie that you, you're like, I have to watch it, but I'm going to like, I want to kind of cover my eyes. So I'm like, okay, well, so I go and start like stalking YouTube all about kind of the the different just revenue streams that come with EXP. And then I start coming across the fact that there's so much value when you join one of these, like, I don't want to call them a team because I think that might be confusing to based on the traditional team model. But when you join this organization, I guess you would, is that is that yeah. the correct term? So start seeing like, okay, well, when you join this organization, here's all the extra value that you get. And I've been trying to do that at KW and it just, it did not, work the way that I was trying to do it. And um, so I kind of was just like, okay, let me just schedule this call on Mike's calendar through his funnel, by the way, in case you're wondering if funnels actually work. And so we chatted and I've been like so excited ever since. And I know that was a very long-winded answer, but I don't think it, it, I feel like I had to give that kind of the coloring to it because it's not just a, hey, let me just switch my license. Like I, I truly believe that regardless of what company I decided to be at, be able to to build a successful business. It's not about just the the commission split or the transaction. It truly is about the community and the culture that gets built beyond just the individual agent. A hundred percent. And and who you work with matters. And especially when you look at, you know, incredible minds like yourself, you know, rising tides lifts all ships. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, are kind of, they've got these great ideas. They're doing their business in a cool way, but they're the only one doing it in a cool way. Yes. And it's really difficult to, you know, keep excited about it and scale when, you know, everybody else is doing it traditionally. They don't want to work with you. They don't want to help. And there's not much of a collaborative community there. Um, whereas this, again, I think as you're alluding to is, it's just important to educate yourself about the opportunity to make an educated decision um, instead of just making assumptions. So I couldn't okay. be more excited. And, and again, I think this video is going to provide a ridiculous amount of value to especially my audience, knowing who usually watches these videos. Um, and again, guys, make sure you check out all of Alexa's stuff. I'm going to link all of her profiles as well as those links in the description and the pinned comment. Um, and I can't wait to see some of you guys implement her incredible strategy. So thanks so much, Alexa. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out Alexa's stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace. Thank you, guys.